Hey, what's up everybody? This is Gold Izzy, and I have got some old school VHS tapes to show off. Uh, now, I don't have many to show off. I don't really collect these. I've just picked up a few here and there over the years, but I think I got a few cool ones, and uh, I'm going to show them off to you guys right now. First up is a VHS tape from uh, 1998. Uh, this is the best of WrestleMania 1 through 14. Uh, this highlights the greatest moments of the first 14 WrestleManias. I picked this up back in 98. I've watched this tape over and over again. It's very, very cool. I do like these VHS tapes because there is a cool nostalgia feel uh, with having these. However, the only downer is that they're just too bulky. They take up uh, way too much room. Uh, but this is really cool, man, just for uh, to have uh, for the collection, no doubt. Here's one that I think you guys will really like. This is Austin 316 Uncensored. Uh, this also came out in 1998. Uh, the boom of the Attitude Era, as you can tell with the uh, WWF scratched logo. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool one as well. It's only 60 minutes long, but it's definitely uncensored. As in, uh, yeah, they don't bleep out the F-bombs that he says in it, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, VHS, Austin 316 Uncensored. Now, here's a really cool VHS tape that I picked up uh, several months ago. This is from 1997. This is One Night Only. This was uh, in Manchester, England. And uh, they had a really cool card on this um, uh, particular event. I believe the main event was indeed uh, the European Championship match pitting the British Bulldog up against uh, HBK. Really awesome match. Uh, very cool VHS tape to uh, pick up to have for the collection, no doubt. Okay, now here's another VHS tape that I picked up recently. And uh, this one I had to have uh, for my collection. Uh, this is Clash of the Champions 1, the very first one from March of 1988. Uh, this is right here, the event that got me into pro wrestling. The match between Flair and Sting uh, was amazing. Uh, it's what got me into loving this sport of pro wrestling. So, no doubt, uh, I had to have this uh, event. Uh, this is an awesome event, in fact. And uh, this is the one that started it all. Uh, this is kind of uh, the event that went up uh, against WrestleMania because uh, they basically came out around the same time, you know, late March. And uh, it was good to see, no doubt. Uh, Clash of the Champions on VHS, very, very cool. Next up is my Starcade collection. Uh, I don't have many in the Starcade collection, but I've got a few awesome ones. And uh, this is Starcade 93. This is the 10th anniversary of Starcade uh, because Starcade started back in 1983. And uh, this is the 10th anniversary. Vader versus Flair. Uh, a pretty damn good match, actually. And uh, this is a really great event, Starcade. It's too bad that we no longer get to see it. But uh, it's cool to have the memories uh, on VHS and uh, DVD. Okay, this right here is Starcade 87, Chi Town Heat. Uh, another cool Starcade event. Uh, highly recommend you seeing this if you have not. A lot of great matches. Okay, and last but certainly not least is probably uh, one of my most prized VHS tapes that I own. Uh, Starcade 86, The Skywalkers. This is actually the only clamshell that I own uh, believe it or not I don't have many VHS tapes and there's a reason for it because they're just so bulky the clamshells are cool but once again they're just really bulky and they take up a lot of space however this is a must-have for any wrestling fan if you have not seen this event you've got to all right guys well these are the VHS tapes I hope you enjoyed the collection and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below this is gold as guys peace